it's time for stocking stuffers. Hey everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back. I recently did a video on what I got my kids for Christmas this year. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the items that I got for their stockings. My kids really look forward to their stockings on Christmas morning. They love all those little gifts, but it is definitely getting more challenging coming up with some little gifts for them because they're getting older. My two older ones are getting into those preteen years, so I definitely have to be more creative when it comes to coming up with these items for their stockings. But overall, I think I did pretty well. I found them a lot of cool stuff this year that I think they're gonna really enjoy and hopefully use. And when it comes to my kids' stockings, I've said this before, I really try to stay away from all of the candy. It's easy to fill up a stocking full of candy, but face it, there's so much candy this time of year. We always have so much candy left over from Halloween, and in our house, we still have bags and bags of it in our pantry. And then at Christmas time, there's always so many sweets and treats around. So while I like to put a little bit of candy in the stockings, I want to mainly focus on non-candy items and things that we'll actually get to enjoy for a longer period of time than just eating up a bunch of candy or even food. Let's get into it right now and let me show you all the stuff that I got for my kids' stockings this Christmas. Well, here's all the goodies I got for my kids to go in their stockings this year, along with trying to find some non-candy items that are small enough to fit into their stockings. I also like to find good prices on things. I don't really want to break the bank when it comes to their stockings, so that's another big thing when it comes to all the items that I share with my stocking stuffers. These items here were either bought at Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, Buy Below, Claire's, and Costco. Costco. And I'm going to go through and share where I bought each and every one of these items and about how much I spent on each of them. I really do try to look and find great deals on certain things. There's a few things I spend a little extra when it comes to the stocking stuffers, and I will explain that a little later when I get into sharing each of these items. But for the most part, a lot of these items are around a dollar, maybe two. So let's go ahead and start right now and talk about the items that I got at Walmart. These are all the items I bought at Walmart. Obviously, Walmart is gonna have a lot of low prices on stuff. First thing is these fold-up brushes with mirrors that I got for my three daughters. Now, I have gotten them, the circular ones in the past, but I saw these at Walmart. They were $2 each, and I just like how they were bigger. Because my girls all have long hair, my oldest has very thick hair, and it's much easier to brush with a bit of a bigger brush. So I like how these are compact, but a little bigger. Then I got these items here, as you could see, for a dollar. You could see this one was originally almost $6, and this one was almost $7 originally. I've said this before, anytime I go to Walmart, I always walk by the clearance section. I never know what I'm gonna find, and usually I find some great deals on things I can use for not only stocking stuffers, but Easter basket stuffers or gifts in general. Also at Walmart, I got each of my kids one of these back scratchers. You could see I paid a dollar fifty each for them and these back scratchers you can pull them out to make them longer and then push them back down so that way they're easy to travel with or store in a drawer maybe i have a back scratcher in my nightstand and my kids are always coming in and borrowing it so i thought they would all appreciate their own back scratcher and i do like that there was four different colors available so they could each have a different colored back scratcher then this item right here a wooden bow and arrow I did not pay $3.50 for this. I think I paid around 75 cents for it. I got this on Clarence after Easter was over with and they had all the Easter things marked down. Because it was super cheap, I went ahead and got this at Walmart for my son. Also at Walmart, I got each of my kids not only a new toothbrush each, but electric toothbrushes. At least for my three older ones. They are now into having electric toothbrushes. And while they don't cost 
a whole lot. It still can be pricey to buy them a new electric toothbrush all the time. Definitely, it's a great thing to stuff in a stocking, fits in there well. For my six-year-old, I just got her these light-up ones. They light up for about a minute. This helps with her brushing so she knows that she's brushing for a good amount of time. I always like to do new toothbrushes and stocking stuffers. Now for all the items that I got at Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, the items at Dollar Tree are no longer just a dollar, but rather a dollar twenty-five. And while I don't like that the price has been raised, it's still overall a pretty good deal on stocking stuffers. I got this packet of combs here. I'm going to give most of these to my son, but my daughters also each wanted to have their own comb. And for some reason, all the combs in our house have disappeared. I'm going to make sure they each have their own comb. I also got my two older daughters these nail file sets. I thought they looked real fun and festive. They'll fit great inside of their stockings. And I know that my older girls will use them. Also at Dollar Tree, I got my daughters some beauty products. I got this for my oldest daughter, this facial wash. She's been needing to wash her face every night. Then for both of my older girls, I got them some night cream. It's very dry here in Colorado. So I try to encourage them to put some lotion on their hands every night before they go to bed and just throughout the day as well. Also for my two older daughters, I got them each these traveling lip gloss containers that come in these cases where you can hook them to either a purse, backpack. They enjoy having some colored lip gloss now and then. For my oldest daughter, I got her some new gloves. These gloves, I am not kidding you, from the Dollar Tree are so soft inside. I was pleasantly surprised when I tried on these gloves and realized just how soft and comfortable they were inside. Pretty good deal for $1.25. I might actually go back and pick up another pair too. I got these for my oldest daughter because she is growing so fast and she needs some adult size gloves instead of all the kid size gloves that we already own. Gloves are always a great stocking stuffer, especially when you live here in Colorado. Also at Dollar Tree, I got these pens here for my kids. There is this metallic marker pen here, and then just some fun gel pens. My kids are always writing stuff, doing stuff that involves pens, and pens wear out after a while. So I like to get them new pens now and then. Also at Dollar Tree for $1.25, I got these little planner calendars for each of my kids. These calendars are good for two years. While my kids aren't huge into writing down events and things they're going to go to or things they have coming up on their schedule, it's still a fun thing to have a new calendar that they can have of their very own. And if they want to write stuff in it, they can. That these were fun and they'll fit really well in the stockings. There was a bunch of different themes that they had for these little planner calendars, but I picked out four different kinds here, one for each of my kids. Then for my son, I got him this little set of dominoes at Dollar Tree. He just likes to do stuff with dominoes now and then, line them up to knock them over or play different games with them. I really like the case that these dominoes came in. I thought it was a great way to store them and maybe even travel with them. Also at Dollar Tree, I got my youngest, my six-year-old, this little puzzle here in this tin. We have a whole bunch of these. These have been stocking stuffers, Easter basket stuffers for years for my kids. I try to get them ones that are a little bigger than 24 piece if I can, but it's always been a fun gift to have and my kids still enjoy them. Now going to the stuff I bought at Claire's. I will go into Claire's now and then because they always have great deals on their clearance rack, at least the one that I shop at. Maybe not all Claire's are like this, but these earrings here that were originally $14.99, I paid about $3 for them. So I got these two earrings here, each for my two oldest daughters and for my youngest, I got her the sticker earrings that I probably paid about one or two dollars for this pack. These are the items that I bought at the store Five Below. Five Below is a great store to shop at for stocking stuffers. They have a lot of items there that are only a dollar. So sometimes it could be even cheaper than shopping at Dollar Tree. I found all these little card games there for a dollar each. And I just loved how small and compact all these little card games were. So I'm gonna give each of my kids one of these. And then I also got this little Rubik's Cube here for my son. And it is a 
attached to a keychain, so this will be nice for him to attach to his backpack. All of these things I think will be great for traveling, for trips we take. I love how small and compact they are. But lots of great stuff that they have at Five Below for stocking stuffers. Something I do every year for my kids' stockings, and that is brand new socks, because my kids always need new socks. So I figured why not get them some new ones that are not only fun, but super soft. And I did spend a little bit more on their socks this year. I got them these socks that are infused with aloe vera or vitamin E, and they are seriously such cozy socks. I got these Mickey Mouse ones here at Target, the rest from Walmart. Always a great and much appreciated gift for my kids' stockings is new socks and preferably fun socks that are super soft. Another tradition that I have done in my kids' stocking every year is brand new shirts, brand new character shirts to be exact. And I usually will do for stockings long sleeve shirts because our winters here are long and my kids need more long sleeve shirts than they do short sleeve shirts. So I got each of my kids one of these character shirts. I got a couple of these from Target, these two, as well as the Harry Potter. The red Mickey Mouse shirt I got at Walmart. My kids, I think, look forward to their new character shirts that they get every year. They always want to wear them when it's time to get dressed on Christmas Day. Now, getting these long sleeve shirts, these are definitely the big splurge of my kids' stockings. I try to find them when they're on sale. I think I paid around $10 each for them, but for me, they're a great investment because they're clothes for my kids. Another thing my kids really love in their stockings is stuffies. I haven't done it for every Christmas, but they were asking me last year if they can have stuffies in their stockings. I found this pack of eight Squishmallows at Costco. I bought these at Costco for a really great price. They were on sale the day I went in. Because there are eight of them, I could divide them up evenly with my four kids. I could even save four of them for next year if I wanted to. Knowing my kids, they are going to be so excited about these little squishmallows because they are not only super soft but they are a Christmas theme and they just like having some Christmas themed stuffies to have this time of year. Well there it is all the non-candy items I got for my kids stockings this year. I hope that this was helpful and that it might have given you some ideas of maybe things you never even thought about. Again, all of these items are very inexpensive. Probably the most I spent was on the t-shirts and the socks, but everything else was very affordable. If you have ideas for stocking stuffers, please write them in the comments below. I would love to get more ideas of some fun little things to put in stockings for the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or got anything out of it, please hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching and may you have a beautiful holiday season.